So this morning I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get this hay here rolled out down this hill. biggest issue I have right now is trying to um, prepare farm girl Ann for the fact that this isn't going to be a house pet. I've got the ewes and the babies up here in what will be the pig paddock. I leave them up here overnight and I let them out, let them get into some grass during the day for a period of time. This morning what I'm going to do though is I'm going to put the bottle lamb in here and let her hang out up here with the flock. I've done it a couple times. You can tell she would rather come with me. Because she knows I'm the one with the bottle. So here for a little bit, let her get used to these other lambs. You can see right here where I've already rolled out, I think four bales, a couple there, there, and then back over this way. The corral is right up there. You can see they, they do a pretty good job of cleaning up all the hay. Definitely some get stomped, no different than in a hay ring. And I would guess that on what I've rolled out, I probably left more on the ground than what I normally would in the hay ring. But the benefit here is that I should get a pretty good seed stand this spring and see better grass production back here. And this is a part of the farm again limestone is close to the surface surface so the grass is a little bit sparse here hopefully i'm um, going to improve that by rolling out some hay on it the first thing i'm going to do before i start rolling it out you can see my wire here so i have them cordoned off to this one area i'm going to take this wire and simply move it to the other side of these two bales before i push them down the hill Really happy how these steers have turned out and coming through the winter. This number 68 and 68 right there, number 87. Both of them are freezer beef. They will be processed at the end of May. They have really done good. The key to getting a good roll on this hay down the hill is to make sure that you roll it the opposite direction versus when it was rolled up. I still, quite honestly, haven't fully always figured that out. Um, this one looks like the way that I've got it here. You can see clearly the way that it was going. Now I'm going to roll it back down the hill that way. And if it works out well, it will roll out by the time it gets to the end. The second one was definitely better than the first one. I'm gonna have to push this one a little further. The second one, it did clip my fence. <laughs> got, almost had it set up just right, but it got my fence right there, not a big deal. Once it gets down to this point, you see it's not, not really hard, you just kick it on down. You can see it's got a pretty great roll. Those cattle will just feed all the way down it. Here's how these cattle eat on this. They just work, they work their way down the hay bale. The little baby may have found her a friend. She's back behind this, there she is, right there. Oh, 
Oh, farm girl Anna's not gonna be happy. But she still knows where the moat's coming from. Uh, well, I appreciate everybody watching. We got a lot of stuff going on here on the farm between the farm store and trying to get it, the shop and freezers. We're working on a walk-in freezer right now. We're less than two weeks away from 500 baby chicks coming onto the farm. We just started with that, as well as getting our pasture pigs joined. I appreciate everyone watching. You can find out more about the farm at www.chubbychasefarm.com. Everyone have a great week.